Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi guys and welcome to the vlog. I'm coming from you from Home Depot. We came because we wanted to get some tomato and cilantro plants. My mom went to get one more basil plant because we love basil. But I'm gonna look at the flowers by right here. So let's go. I just want to show you guys how fast I got my nails done um, on today, Saturday. Is Saturday? Yeah, Thursday I got them done. And um, I did the blue tips and then the ring finger that I checked her flags because Margaret's in 500 and we're planning on going. And so I had to get checked her flags obviously for that. But anyways, I think we're leaving Home Depot now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so what we're about to see is some clips from the Indianapolis 500. We had the literally the best time ever. So a little bit of backstory. Um, we were not gonna go because it was like literally pouring rain, it was lightning, I mean it was a mess. However, they decided they were gonna move it from a four to basically eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, so guess who got to come? And we literally had a ball. So enjoy these clips from the race because it was literally the bomb. I'm not going to one until you watch the clips. So go watch it. <laughs> Okay, and we just started watching the Indy 500. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Joseph Newgard. <laughs> I am seriously in love with you. You are literally the best Indy 500 car driver I think I've ever seen my entire life. I have to say at the beginning, I was voting for Marcus Harrison. But after that crash, I went ahead and started voting for you. And I'm so glad I did. Because you won it, boy. And you so deserve it. Let's go! Hi guys, it is the next day. We had a blast the 500. We are so happy for Jesse New Garden. So congratulations, but we are now working on the front porch. If you guys watched the start of this video, you guys know we went to Home Depot and we got a stuff to redo our front porch. We're trying to make that dream come alive now. So we're gonna, we're actually gonna plant the uh, cilantro and the basil plants right here and these buckets and then we're also redoing this front landscape first of all we just cut this bush down because wow there's that was humongous and then dad went to an art day and he got this like brown stuff to put around the garden and i think it looks so good um but we're not working on plants right now but it is looking actually not bad i'm super excited to see the end product of how this new look of our house looks out you know We just finished putting all of the plants. Um, this one we're still working on because it's our basil one. 
It's supposed to go in this one, but it was too big. So this is what we have going so far. We got a mini basil on this blue one, and then over here we have our cilantro plants. And then, like I said, this is gonna be our jumbo basil, but I can't finish that one until mom comes out because she has add some else in it. But you're looking really good. I'm excited for some homemade basil and cilantro. That's about a half hour to hour so far. Look how good we got all this. I really am obsessed. We just need to like redo the black mulch and we're killing some of the dirty weeds. And we're also killing the forest ivy because we hate forest ivy, but it is looking really good and I am super happy with them. Actually, we're ready to go wash off our ladybug over here. That's for our garden and repaint that because it has no paint on it. It needs to actually look alive again. It's gonna be that, but it looks so great good. being in the front yard and hoping with the new landscaping to come check on beepers. Say hi, Max. <laughs> they are doing super well, so I figured we should give you guys a little update on them. I haven't really talked much about Millie Max, so yeah. But this one is Max. He is a tacky cowboy. <laughs> yeah. And then Millie is our peeking back there. Who's not in the greatest mood, huh? Um, we still have Ollie. I don't really talk much about what happened to Ollie, but let's just say he um, and navigated to the neighbor or the neighbor's pond and he will not come back so he's been over there for like literally almost a month now so um he's doing great though um but he's over there has a new wife now and <laughs> that's all i can really say about mr ollie but um as far as these two they have two completely personalities uh, um he's so much calmer and then spastic is not but Anything you know, else you would like to say, Mr. Rom? Oh, I'm covering the camera. Mr. Rom? Because you are freaking cute. Look at him, little bean. Look at him, little bean. Girl, it's done with sophomore year. Hi, guys. It is now the next day. I am officially done with sophomore year, which feels so good. I can't even explain how much that feels amazing. But I did go in today for one more final in my locker actually got all of my stuff in the back and you can see that purple bin back there's all of my crap but we got it all out and then we went to Lowe's to pick up some more Are you okay? um like yeah. dirt yeah, for the front of our young because no we yet. didn't have enough and then we went to Chick-fil-A got some okay. lunch you and we went to places like Walmart you got some groceries my dad's talking to mom she is um waiting in line for Noah's doctor appointment to get some heartworm test done so that's what we're in line for but yeah we used to get hers because she got hers back in january and they only make them do it like once every year but this little boy needs it so we get some heartworm tests also i think no weighs like 97.7 my dad thinks 98.3 and my mom says 99 so we shall see who's right on mr boots's way but anyways um yeah well, this one cannot handle herself in the car, so we got to bring her too. And little man over here is ready for a shocking appointment. Hi guys, it is now the next day. I feel like this vlog has gone like everywhere this past couple days. But we have finally got our mulching done and our whole front yard done. It looks incredible, so I'm going to do like a montage for y'all. Okay, you guys, I just got upstairs from being downstairs showing you guys our new front porch, which looks absolutely phenomenal, and I also took my breeds out, and I'm really obsessed, but I wanted to put up some things in my room that I did last night because I am in the mood to turn my room into a beach room, and I don't know. I just love beaches, and I thought, what better way than deck my room as a beach plus like a bunch of seashells downstairs. That's really where the idea came in. But I'm so excited, I have big plans for this room. But for now, I just have like this little banner put up. And then this sign that says, Life's a beach, enjoy the waves. That was super cute. Um, so I put those up. And then I didn't update you guys about Noah last night because we got him like super late. But he is fine. He's heartworm negative. He got his medicine. He weighed about 94, 95 pounds around that area. But he's doing wonderful. So, anyways, I'm going to hang these up and I'll show you guys. 
the Vice A Beach Enjoy the Waves by the nightstand. That looks super pretty there and super cute. And then as far as the banner, it goes right there. I do not know about this orange, you guys. I thought my head looked cute on the wall. The other three look fantastic, but the orange one, I might have to, like, report on radio. Um, I was thinking that that orange was pink. Uh, it's definitely not pink, so I think we're going to have to reprint that one off, but you can kind of get an idea what it's going to look like. Um, the S is really big, but the reason is because it was not on the same website as the other three were on, so uh, it's different. But still, I think it looks really good. If I get another R make it blue and purple, it's going to blend right in. But once it's done, it's going to be really pretty on my wall, and I think it looks super cute right there with my name. Um, but like I said, I have big plans. I want to put a bunch of she shells in here, and I'm going to make a... She shall stand a leer, and then there might be some other things, but I'm like super excited to turn this room into somewhat of a beach room. <laughs> I just went back to edit this vlog and did not realize I made a almost 12 minute vlog, and that is not like me. <laughs> but I'm really happy though. But I'm gonna go and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and then click the bell so you receive post notifications every time I have a new video out. Also, there will be Plenty more videos coming this year because I'm on summer break and I'm so excited. Um, cannot believe I'm gonna be a junior in two months. That's literally insane. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed coming with us to the 500 and redoing our front garden area and kind of opening my room. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. We will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.